Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you guys are in you guys are in St. Louis right now. Tomorrow you'll be coming to Kansas City, Missouri, uh, home sure. of home of David Cook, the guy that won. Yeah. You know that guy that won before you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we really don't have to say his name here. It's not that important. Oh, okay. But um, I, I've always wondered this: Is there any pressure playing in the town of another winner? Ooh. Um. You know, I haven't even thought about it until you brought it up. Now there <laughs> so, probably will be. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean I to do that. I apologize. That I'm sure that winners have come from, and we, I don't know, man, I haven't thought about it. So tomorrow, I have to bring my A game. Yeah, you have to bring your A game. And, and also is, I mean, you were, David and I actually went to the show in Atlantic City. Like uh-huh. was that was that weird for you? I mean, I know you guys played earlier in the day at uh, Good Morning America, which you guys sounded great. But was that was that evening? Was that kind of like uh, you know I got to show this guy that I'm I'm capable, or was it just kind of like hey you know you're just another dude? Um, I was trying not to think about it. Um, I mean, David obviously seems like just another dude, but um, but yeah, I was trying not to think about it. It, it did go through my head a couple times on stage, though. Not like trying to show him up or whatever, but dude, you totally should have. I try to do it every day, and yeah. it's not working yet. I mean, here we are. I mean, I tried out with him, and he showed me up, and constantly kind of, you know, you know, brothers like you have a brother, correct? Yeah. And yeah. You, you know that brotherly love where it's not like anything nice you're saying to them. It's like taking cheap shots at their their like past or their ego or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Him I and do I do that time. a lot. He's like, uh, hey, do you remember Omaha when uh, you didn't make it and I did? Like that's great. Thank you so much for that. You know the funny thing is that my brother tried out too. Do you do that to him ever? Just to like, hey, do you remember? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, I always but he kind of he kind of rides my coattails though, and he gets the ladies with it. So. I uh, hey, I can honestly say that I do the same thing. It's okay. Hey, your brother's a good man. Yeah. <laughs> so, have, is this your first web station interview? This is an online radio station. I think the first time I've actually called into a web station. Yeah. So it's safe to say that I am your favorite web station DJ. I would say by far. By far. The best. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and check that off. Um, right. Another thing, you know, about playing in in towns of, of Idols winners or in, uh, you know, just any town in general, there's always that whole feeling of whoever came in second, that town is going to eat you alive. Yeah. I remember my brother was afraid to go to Utah because he's just yeah. like... There's a lot of tween girls there that are, you know, in numbers, they can rip my arms off. Where When you went to San Diego, was there any of that feeling like, you know, you hope you didn't get, you know, booed or anything like that? Or was the crowd pretty pretty respectful of, of you and, and the fact that you won and Adam didn't? Um, the, the crowd was pretty respectful in San Diego. There probably were some boos. Um, but, you know, California is kind of its, you know, I, don't, I don't know if, Anyone can like go to California and not not get a decent, you know, crowd or whatever. Yeah. I'll tell you what though. Last night we were in Milwaukee with Danny, mm-hmm. and I got a little bit of like a, oh, we we wanted Danny to win. <laughs> that's. And I mean, yeah, I that's know, me and Adam difficult. Kind of felt the same thing. So that can be a little difficult at times. Um, Besides your hometown, we got we have some listeners. Uh, you know, they're asking me to ask you guys questions, and. Uh, I have it on my Twitter and my Facebook fan page and all that stuff. And a couple of the questions were were actually pretty cool. They had one uh, besides your hometown. What has been the your favorite city to play at? Um, like crowd wise or like well, just like, like you know, you leave the stage and you're like, wow, that was just an awesome show. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, I'm trying to think. Columbus the other day was actually really good for some reason. Um. And, I mean, I don't think any of us expected Columbus to be a good show. <laughs> uh, but, and all the hometowns are really good. Like Detroit the other day for Matt was really nice. Um, and, they were, and they were good to all of us. So, um, uh, I'm sure there's other ones. I think there was this one where I was really sweating really bad. <laughs> and I remember it being, I remember that one being really good. I don't remember what city it was in, though. So, a good show, uh, listeners, I hope you're listening to this. A good yeah. show for Chris Allen is when you sweat a lot. Yeah, I yeah. like to. I like. I actually like to sweat on stage. So, oh wow, if you're sweating that means I'm. Um, the the show's going well. 
<laughs> that means the show's going well. Or yeah. you're like dehydrated and getting ready to pass out. Either or. <laughs> either or. Exactly. <laughs> um, 